Okay, let's look at how to configure a custom streaming service for a Zoom meeting. Now you can do this in meetings that you have already set up. You can do this when you're scheduling a new meeting. You can do this on recurring meetings or one-time events, doesn't matter. Okay, the approach to do it is a little bit different um, depending on if you're scheduling a new meeting or you're editing a meeting that you've already created. I'll show you both ways. First, let's assume we're scheduling a brand new meeting. So you'll enter in your meeting details, meeting time, all the normal stuff. So let's say I'm doing something uh, Sunday at one o'clock in the afternoon. It's gonna be an hour and 15 minutes. I'm um, gonna go with all the defaults here. It's gonna generate a new meeting ID, a new passcode, blah, blah, blah. So on and so forth. So I'm gonna save it. Now that I've saved the meeting, it actually gives me a couple more options down here at the bottom of the form. I can configure any poll questions that I might want to ask during the meeting. And here on the next tab, I can configure live streaming settings, particularly looking at the custom live streaming service uh, that I might want to configure if I'm using a third party service like restream.io so that I can stream my Zoom meeting to a variety of different uh, um, uh, platforms at the same time. So I go configure custom streaming service, and then from that third party service, you would enter in the streaming URL, the streaming key, and then the live streaming page URL, I believe in this box, you can put in whatever you want. Um, if you are streaming to either Facebook or YouTube, you might just enter in the landing page to where your audience will see um, that feed. There also is a checkbox here to configure live stream during the meeting. Um, I believe that this is going to allow you to enter in the stream URL and the stream key um, in the Zoom app while the meeting is live. Okay, so that may or may not be an option that is of interest to what you're doing. Now, if you have a meeting that has already been set up, for example, I have a couple of recurring meetings for some of the classes that I'm teaching. Let's say, for example, this English 5A section 27. I'm going to end up live streaming that class for some reason or another. <clears throat> so I want to edit that meeting. There's nothing here that I want to change. Oddly enough, I'm just gonna come down to the bottom of the form, click Save. And then I'm taken to the same kind of like summary slash informational page that also has the polling um, um, questions as well as the live streaming options. And here again, I can go to live streaming, configure my custom streaming service, put in the stream URL, the stream key, etc. Once I've entered that information, tap save. And then uh, that's that. I should be set up and good to go. There you have it. Hope this helps. Good luck.